the last night of the 10-day silent meditation retreat. After the last session, I was a little bit frustrated because I only sat for an hour and 15 minutes since the last retreat. My biggest breakthrough was after sitting for three hours on day seven, which was the state that I accessed on the second or third day of this retreat. So I determined to push through at least three hours on this last sitting. And I began at 5.30 and didn't feel like my body opened up enough. And I felt a bit drained, like I've used up the remainder of my Kundalini juice. Uh, there wasn't as much electricity or fluid left. So I took a little break and for 20 minutes just sat there and did nothing. About 1.5 hours into this last sitting, I felt completely different already. This time the sensations and the visuals were more eclectic and elastic and was predominantly white, whereas before it was mostly black or multicolored. My whole body felt it tasted like milk and honey. I knew this one was going to be big, so I kept at it, staying quantumous with clarity and concentration. I could pull one string of sensation and swing it around my head all the way to the ceiling and back again as I continued to peel my body layer after layer. About two hours into it, um, my body was almost completely dissolved. But I took Gonika's advice and started scanning my spine, which was one of the only places left that was still solidified. I felt like I was drawing a huge Zen circle from one spinal cord to the next, like a strange loop. And I felt an energy building up and something moving up my spine. In the back of my mind, I was like, I think this is kind of linear but I was always kind of afraid of it. The energy in my forehead was super intense and I could feel my head just buzzing, like my head was gonna crack open and I was scared something's gonna pop and explode and that I was gonna die. I knew I was close to something big, like reaching the edge of my mind or reality. About two hours and 15 minutes into it, the meditation was carried on all by itself, as if I was sitting inside a self-driving spaceship that I spent the whole retreat constructing. Now I finally have the freedom to do some more exploration, so I kept going back to the mantra that I've been using, asking the question, who am I, and to turn awareness onto itself. The more that I inquire, the more universal and inhuman and divine my experience becomes. But I knew there were still some elements that I needed to let go of, so I kept relaxing into awareness, like falling back into a vast spacious blanket. Instead of feeling like I was sitting up, I felt more like I was floating on top of a tunnel that's slowly forming and is moving towards my direction as it signals me to merge. And I realized that the only way I could bring it closer to me was switching completely from self-awareness to no self-awareness, like a mirror without a reflection reflecting back on itself. I started panicking, my heart was pounding louder and louder, and I could smell death around the corner. Like, it was the end of the video game of my life. Any further that I go, I will be unplugged from the entire game. It's like the ultimate, absolute, Robin, infinite intelligence, love were popping in and out of the periphery of my consciousness, but I have to personalize them anyway. This is as far as the mind can go, or even awareness itself. The event horizon to the inner black hole. The black hole is looking out to all of us right now, but at the same time we try everything to avoid it. The primordial soup that gives birth to all existence. And this void started to give me the chills because 
its intelligence was so vast and so alien that human beings, faces popping in and out of consciousness. It was this unified field that the whole world was looking through simultaneously for eternity, silently observing and witnessing itself. I felt like I was a hamster running on a treadmill and I've been confined in a cage that's placed inside a head. And I'm looking through a pair of eyes at the outside world. It's the same thing as that void that I was looking at. And as I sprint faster and faster, the more, the harder that I concentrate, I was pulling the void closer and closer to me. And then I realized that whatever was looking out was exactly the same thing as while I was looking in. The perceiver and the perceived appear to be the exact same thing. The source needed to return to itself. The final step is to turn awareness onto itself. Annihilate the meditator. Did the mind switch back on? I felt like a switch had been turned on and somebody took the rug from underneath my world and in an instant switched my reality from a simulation to I kept going in and out of the bathroom. Each time that I walked in there, I gave birth to a new bathroom. It was almost like observing a single sensation on my body. But now that sense of the rising and passing has been extended to the entire reality. Bliss, couldn't sleep all night. Next morning, the noble silence was broken. Instead of a head or even a body, what I had was a 360 degree mirror and everything I was perceiving was reflecting back on this infinite empty space. When I was talking to people, it felt like they were just talking to air and that I was looking at myself. I was flipped inside out. My awareness was no longer confined in a location behind my eyes. But everywhere, nowhere. I felt infinitely small infinitely large. I had access to a non-moment called a secession or extinction or nirvana. Love is the 
infinity, recognizing divinity, 